Hey guys, it's me, Teresa Crafted Mama ML. Today is Sunday, and I'm here today to do a video response for Miss Sybil B here on YouTube. Sybil is holding a giveaway here on YouTube, and it's about chasing your paper. Show your stash, show her how much you have, how you organize it, um, different sizes, etc. <coughs> I was excited to join on join in on this giveaway challenge. Um, I absolutely adore Sybil. I watch all her videos. She's an amazing, talented colorer. Um, so definitely go check her out if you guys haven't subscribed to her definitely subscribe and join in a great This is such a great way when people do giveaways or challenges like this to show other crafters how they you know store or organize or um, What they're kind of their way of putting it on a on a stand or whatever it gives you guys really great ideas and Maybe sometimes you can steal that idea and use it to suit your own and you know it's a great way for us to steal ideas and all of us crafters love to do that. I do a lot of, I watch a lot of organization videos and the series that people hold for them because I love seeing different ideas of how I can store something if something's not working the way I'm doing it for me, which is almost always. So it always helps when I watch those videos. So I'll start off over, I have three different sections that hold my papers and each section goes by the size of the paper. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still over getting over this cough. So basically right here, so on the bottom, these are my six by six pads. This is all cleared out. I cleaned this all out um, over the weekend, um, trying to figure out if I'm gonna put another bin here and that's where my stamps will be instead of against the wall on the other end. Because when they're over there, I'm not really using it as much. Um, these are just my six by six pads. I won't show you these ones. These are basically any six by six pads that don't have the circle on them so that I can hang them on my pegboards. So those ones just sit there and also some loose end six by six pads that um, I have been gifted. So nothing too exciting. And then over here, there's just this Rubbermaid bin. Um, originally, it came with the file folders and a green top. I didn't keep the lid only because I, well, I have it, but it's not in my scrapbooking room. Um, I'll use it if for some reason I switch this idea out, but I do like this sort of organization. I did see this on someone else's video, so again, I, I scrap lifted it. So this basically, um, it just holds my eight and a half by 11 papers. These are all organized by either manufacturer or designer. The first few here are, um, the Michaels packs that I had received and then I also had purchased myself. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Um, and then in the middle file folders, there's some manila folders plus like three file folders back here. These are all filled with eight by eight paper pads. This is what I originally was buying when I first started scrapbooking. I don't so much buy them anymore. Um, so a lot of these have sat here for a while. I'm keeping them because I do like them, but um, it's a great source to go to if my kids need pattern paper. I can kind of just pull out of this area. Um, and then in the back, these are all, um, it's filled with eight and a half by 11. And these are all monogram tags. Um, I ended up keeping them, they're all color coordinated. So all the brights and then the dark pastels and then your darks. Um, I use these a lot for treat bags for the kids or um, when I make them for other little kids in my family. Um, I usually like will tag that and that will be how they know whose is whose because they're all done by um, initials. So I'm going to take you slowly over here. So sorry if it's making you dizzy. So here underneath, I got to put my trim. I got to put the trim back on there. They didn't do that. I just noticed that. <laughs> I have it though. Um, I finally hung my pegboards. Now this is what's going to hold my 6x6 six six pads that have the holes in them. So it's nothing too special to look at. Um, it just holds them and they're on two pegboards so I'll do another set of um, nine on the other one. And there's probably like three in each one. So that will hold where all my six by six pads. And even though they're stacked like three to th three on each one, I can move them very quickly. So I don't have a hard time looking for them. So that's not an issue. And then let's just cover you up so it's not make you dizzy. Here is where I store all my 12 by 12 paper pads. Um, if you guys have watched my previous videos, you guys know that um, I got this for my birthday from one of my friends. And... This holds a lot of my paper, which is awesome. I do, in that microwave stand that I showed you where I cleaned off the top, in the bottom of that, I also have way more 12 by 12s, but it's not organized, it's not clean. It's still something I am um, trying to go through and see what my kids can take and what I still like, and then I will organize them better. 
probably in another um, tub that can stand up that I can just search through. Now these are all organized. Um, they're all organized by manufacturer. The first, I think it goes up to here, the first half are all my paper pads and then the top one are all my kits. And then the bottom ones are all loose papers I have bought, purchased um, separately or I have received. Um, and they're all organized by manufacturer. So like your My Mind's Eye, your L Studio, your, your American Crafts, your Glitz paper and so forth all the way down. A lot of these hold about 50 papers in each one. So it took me a long time to go through each one. If there is a collection where, let's say, um, the cut and paste where I bought 10 of the same sheets, what I would do is they are at the back. They are um, gathered by paper clips. So they're still all together, but they're kind of like bunched in one. So then I know those each collections go with each other. So that is my paper collection. I don't have too much. I've seen a few videos on Facebook and people have like a gazillion and I'm just like, holy, but what I like to do is I, I try my best to finish off a pack and then I'll tell myself, okay, I can go buy a new one. Um, six by six, I don't mind buying those because they're so small and I know I'll use them a lot on my layouts because there's like, it's just a six by six paper pad where these, it's like, if you take a 12 by 12 and cut it into four, you have four sheets that you still have to go through when you scrapbook. Um, I'm not too much of a card maker. I try my best to do a few here and there. Um, I, hopefully I can get better at it, but with my layering, I use my 6 by 6s a lot. So that's why there doesn't look like there's as much anymore because I've used so many. So I'll cover back over. And the last spot I have is, it's actually inside my drawer. And this is basically where I sit. So I, I felt like I had to have this kind of near me. Um, inside this drawer, it carries my um, Copic little papers that I colored my Spectrum Noirs on. I have my um, white cardstock that I use for my eight by eight and a half, or my eight and a half by eleven. Underneath, I have my Spectrum Noir papers underneath that are just eight and a half by eleven, and then I have it with my um, coloring. And then on this side is my YouTube books where there's a bunch of um, I don't know what these would be called, um, like little notebooks. So I have like addresses, I have challenges going on, so I keep it in here so. When I'm working on a challenge, I write everything down when the due date is, yada, yada, yada. And then at least I have it all um, in one spot. So anyway, Sybil, that is my paper collection. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for hosting a great giveaway. And I hope everyone has a great weekend. Thank you.